you couldn't get here. So you just had to sit here and watch the show and see the traffic go by, pay your employees. Business owners are relieved tonight that both sections of North Shore Drive are back open. Yeah, more than two weeks ago, high water forced crews to shut down part of the road, forcing drivers to find a different way. And with the road back to normal, businesses are still playing catch up after losing thousands of dollars from a lack of customers. Oh, it was an absolute ghost town. It was a mess. It definitely affected our traffic. Recent floodwaters shut down sections of North Shore Drive in West Knoxville and put a damper on local businesses. We probably lost at least 80% of our daily sales during lunch due to people not being able to make it to the area. The Brasserie is one of the busiest restaurants on North Shore. Lost about 120 reservations that night on the books. The night of the heavy rain and the closed road that followed cost them thousands of dollars. Oh, the first two days, including that Saturday, we probably at least lost about $20,000, $25,000. I would say eight to 10000 easily. Head east a few miles and the other portion of North Shore that closed took money from Express Loop. You couldn't get here. So you just had to sit here and watch the show and see the traffic go by, pay your employees. The owner here says all he could do was sit and watch the floodwaters recede. From Weigel's driveway all the way up to the grass, all the way to my driveway right here, it was full of water. He says it was a hopeless feeling just sitting there watching the water rise and then slowly go down. But each business I talked to says they're just glad the water did recede and the roads are back open. And the sous chef at the brasserie told me tonight that it wasn't just a lack of customers that cost them, but because the, their food is fresh and they get their uh, vegetables every single day, all of that went to waste as well.